the second that Shannon became available. Mm-hmm. And I like that you did this, by the way. Right. I like that you spoke. Hey, right. I make no qualm. I would like him over here. Mm-hmm. I like that for the business. But for the skip stuff, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, no, that, that's a jab. That, that hurts. You're going to go after the co-host so soon. You didn't care. I didn't look at it that way. Got it. I would have looked at it that way if Shannon left of his own volition. I'm telling you he did it. Oh, I'm telling okay. you he was pushed out. That's the, fa- that's the first time I've ever heard that. Well, I'm telling you. And it's fact. Now, they could deny it. He wouldn't. I can promise you that. He was pushed out. He didn't want to leave. Mm. He was notified that your services would no longer be needed. But again, that's his story to of tell. Course. But I'm telling you what I know. I'm giving you facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big JTV. Let's talk about it. Let us talk about it. So I'm probably going to put the clip at the beginning of the video. Like the video of course this was all from the joe button podcast so basically stephen a smith was there getting interviewed and essentially they were talking about skip and they were talking about shannon and how shannon was told that his services were no longer required basically a smooth way of saying he got fired that's the allegation that's what's being said that's what that's what stephen a is saying all right so for first and foremost we can't verify that information all that we know is that you know shannon's last day was the end of the nba finals i believe it was june 20 something or maybe uh 19th or something like that something along the middle of june middle late june and it was announced right after the end of the finals there have been reports that he's leaving and all these things now here's where it's important and it gets dicey is that Stephen a basically said that shannon wanted to stay yeah that he wanted to stay and that's something that i find hard to believe i think that they had already been beefing for six maybe seven plus months there was already tension the arguments were not just regular sports arguments they were getting very very personal now of course it got super personal when they talked about Tom Brady being, uh, you know, you know, Skip saying that Tom, that uh, Shannon was, uh, you know, jealous of Tom Brady, right? And, you know what I mean? It got incredibly personal, you know what I mean? Incredibly, incredibly, they were almost going to blows. And then it even erupted even more in, uh, I believe, was December, where they were talking about the DeMar Hamlin situation, right? To the point that's that Shannon didn't show up to work for a full day because he felt so disrespected, right? And the thing is, these accumulations, these things, these things building up all that disrespect, my honest thinking is that Shannon initiated the breakup slash divorce. But from what, you know, what Stephen A is saying, no, no. It sounds like Skip initiated it, right? And for me, I won't say that I'm super surprised. I'm just surprised that Shannon, you know, didn't say, hey, I'm out of here. You know what I mean? At the same time, you have to know this. This is probably the most money that Shannon was ever getting. Really, if you compare it to his NFL contracts back in the day, he's probably getting paid way more on being undisputed, right? And he liked the routine. He liked the challenge. And you have to keep this in mind. Shannon got super popular. He was the A Mike. You know what I mean? Of the show. He was the reason people were doing. I'm telling you right now, I was tuning into Undisputed because of Shannon, bro. <laughs> because of Unc Shay Shay. You know what I mean? And it's proven because look at look at uh, Unc's YouTube channel, Club Shay Shay. It's killing it. Right? So you would deduce that he had a good thing going. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if he's getting paid way more by first take right now. I wouldn't be surprised if the volume was paying him a lot of money for, uh, you know, Club Shay Shay. My thing is this. When you've gotten disrespected that many times from Skip Bayless, at what point do you say deuces I'm out, right? At what point do you say I'm done? And it seems like Shannon, you know, has a very, I don't know, he didn't, he didn't want it to continue. Now, these are all allegations. We don't know for sure. I don't think we'll ever know for sure. But we know something about Skip. 
Skip has no problem chucking the deuces and leaving people or getting people out of the paint. Fox Sports 1 has no problem getting rid of people or moving people out of the paint. Remember when first things first started, right? It was Nick Wright and Chris Carter, and Chris Carter was destroying and disrespecting Nick Wright. It was it was hilarious, I'll keep it real. And all of a sudden, Chris Carter wasn't there, right? Why? Because I think Nick Wright pushed him out. And these things happen a lot, and in corporate cultures, they don't necessarily fire you, they just don't renew your contract. They don't necessarily fire you, they just say, Your services are no longer needed. That's corporate talk for you're fired. It is what it is, man. But let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Big JTV, y'all think that this actually happened? Y'all think Shannon got fired and let out the door? Or y'all think that Stephen A is capping? I think the truth might be in between. Big JTV, I'm out.